Pima County may not be as bad as it's portrayed. The director of Youth Services at Project Change says statistics can be deceived. Across the state, part-time college faculty protest today to get higher wages. Some YBC instructors are taking their case to the governor. You'll find several businesses online in Yakima every year. More and more companies jump on the internet. Sadus Creek is causing the first flooding of the season. Water is spilling over the banks along the stretch of West Sadus Road is closed. So hopefully we won't have too much more of that. Yeah, a little bit okay. That's just not okay for the people that are suffering in that flooding right now. Have no, to but worry about those closed roads. Well, we've had worse. Yeah. Up next, ABC's World News Tonight. Stay with us. On World News Tonight this Wednesday, more of the country's best-known companies announce major cutbacks. Why are so many Americans losing their jobs? The battle against terrorism. What can go wrong when the FBI and the CIA try to share their secrets? One of the hottest trends in cosmetic surgery. How safe is it? An ABC News investigation. And gun makers making a big pitch to win new customers. Guess who they are after? News World Headquarters in New York. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Sitting in tonight, Charles Gibson. Good evening. We are going to begin tonight with a question. Why are so many people being laid off when the economy is still so strong and the job market is still so tight? Just today, B.F. Goodrich said it's cutting 775 jobs. Kellogg, the world's largest cereal maker, is cutting jobs. And the industrial giant ITT today joined Boeing in announcing big job cuts. In fact, already this year, well over half a million workers at major companies have been told they are not needed. On the money tonight, ABC's Betsy Stark. Today, the bad news came from Battle Creek. Kellogg said shrinking sales of its cereals around the world were forcing it to cut more than a fifth of its workforce. The cuts were about discontinuing work that no longer needed to be a part of this organization's growth strategy. ITT also announced layoffs today. Yesterday, it was Boeing, Exxon, and Mobil. On Monday, Deutsche Bank and Bankers Trust. 